this tutorial I will talk about the input tags and layers. When you start with the Raising Game Kit uh, and import the package to Unity, in, as default Unity settings will be appeared for the layers, tags and inputs. Uh, but there is some uh, special requirements to work with the Raising Game Kit for uh, as inputs or uh, as layers and tags. So we have to create these um, custom configurations for the raising game kit. I explained every uh, required objects in the uh, knowledge base uh, site uh, dev.interraisingkit.com. Uh, in knowledge base, you will see um, installation um, topics. So if you click these items, you will see the deta detailed information. Um, for creating inputs, uh, you can use the um, edit project settings and inputs inspector. So you have to uh, create this uh, inputs manually. So uh, this is some long process because I have um, many custom items required to configure design these configurations. Uh, instead, I created a link in the Raising Game Kit menu for um, speed up this process. Uh, when you click the Raising Game Raising Game Kit menu, and you will see the Update Project Input and Tag Settings item. When you click that, uh, it will copy the um, to uh, asset file to Project set Settings of your project and it's very uh, easy process so after click the update button when confirm this action okay simply you will see the um, new uh, layers created tags created also new inputs are created too. Uh, this input and layer configuration explained in the uh, knowledge base site. You can read more uh, detailed information from there. Basically uh, tags are created to um, environment items like checkpoints and obstacle. Also layers are available for the AI and obstacle um, de detection for the AI, also ignore a layer created for the um, after respawn the user uh, on track, uh, avoiding collision with the active players on um, scene. Also, there are two sets of the inputs, uh, basically a small set created for the one player uh, and other set for the create for split screen. These uh, settings are required for this screen manager. So that's it. See you in next tutorial.